Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to make capacitors, high voltage capacitor. Um, I've never tried making it the way I'm going to in the video, but I'm, I reckon the way I'm going to do it is probably going to be the best homemade capacitor I've ever made. Um, so you'll need two wires one end twisted, one end all frayed and open two um, plates of tinfoil masking tape or electrical tape's better well, you don't need this but I'm just gonna house it in this because I like M&M's and I've just cut up some portfolio slips. Don't bother using scissors to cut these. They just don't cut through this stuff. Put it on a chopping board, put your roller there. I just got heaps of portfolio slips, stacked them on top of each other and just sliced with the um, knife and yeah. It's going to be very hard because you know, I haven't got a cameraman or anything, so I'm just going to put the camera there and see if I can do this. Okay. Do I get Okay, I've got four here. Okay. <laughs> um, four, four plates. Um, four, four portfolio slips. Foil. There. Make sure there's a gap around the edge. Uh, otherwise, it might arc over the edges to the other the other plate. All right. Okay. Then a little piece of tape. Masking tape's all I have at the moment. Um. And put it like this. More tape. Do that. Oopsie. Oh. Ah. Okay. Now there's there's four portfolio slips underneath the foil, so I'll just get another four. Okay, there's four here. I'll put them aside. Okay, all of these, get them nice and straight and all the lined up and stuff. Okay, they're all in line, just put them over the top. And then, get some more foil, put it there. Hopefully this is good. <laughs> Hopefully it all fits. Should. So easy, so cheap. High voltage capacitors is just so expensive, so it's cheaper to just make your own. Sometimes they're even better anyway. Okay, once you've so I've got metal plate um, the foil plate on there okay I've got the wire taped onto it now just get 
fold their slips, make them all straight. And put them over the top. So it's quite thick. I haven't got a tripod or anything, so it's just, I hope I'm getting this all on video nicely. Okay, fold the tape over. Now that's still kind of be loose, but that's all right. All right, so it's like a book for right now. You want to leave these ends untaped because as you roll it up they're going to move about and if they're taped then you'll get creases and gaps in there so now what I'll do this. roll this up as tight as I can keeping it all nice and straight. Perfect. In there very nicely. And so it's basically a capacitor now. Nice and enclosed. Um, I'll drill a hole, two holes in the lid, poke the wires through, and that will be the high voltage capacitor. Alright, I'm going to drill the holes now. My camera's not sitting very stable, so I really don't want it to fall over. Yeah. Here in a sec. Okay, done. Okay. This will be the first test of the capacitor. Put that down. Plug it in. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Wow. 
flex. Okay, just... Oh, uh oh, it's glowing inside. Open it, see what it's like on the inside. Uh. Yeah, I know what's wrong here. I think I might have, um. I might have, um, uh, what was it? I did the plates too big, so they're arcing over. Oh. Ooh, smoke. Yeah, I'll burn it out. It's broken anyway. So yeah, build the plates a bit smaller so they don't arc over the edges. And it'll probably prevent this from happening. Ah, oh, well. So yeah, 